ever had one of those moments where things start to get real? Where something that's just been talked about finally starts to become a reality? Well, it's happening around here. I'm here in Doug's office and things are looking a little different than they did even just last week. He's starting to pack up. What has just been talked about, his retirement, at, you know, after Easter is now upon us. Things are getting real. It, what had seemed a long way off is now just a few weeks away. I think that Jesus' disciples probably could relate to that kind of feeling where something that seemed far off uh, became a reality. And, and I'm not really sure that the potential of Jesus' absence ever really dawned on the disciples uh, or were on their minds much before his crucifixion and resurrection. The Gospels are filled with lots of stories of clueless disciples. They didn't understand what Jesus was telling them. They didn't understand just what Jesus meant. And we've seen that. Here at Northway, we've been looking at the Gospel of Luke from the Advent to, to the present, to, to Easter. And what we found is that many, many times things didn't get real until after Jesus rose from the dead. It was only in that light that the things that Jesus did, the things that Jesus taught, began to make sense. So, before we box up this series on Luke, we're going to go back and look at a couple of stories in the Gospel of Luke. A couple of stories where the disciples just didn't get what Jesus was saying. And if you've ever struggled to try to figure out what Jesus is trying to say to you or what Jesus came to do or what Jesus wants you to do, then I hope you'll join us Sunday as we're going to get real with the disciples with some post-resurrection hindsight. Hope to see you then. Mm -hmm.